Hi, I'm Casper from Running Expert, and yeah, in this video, I'll try to take you through some of the ins and outs of, of the different hydration systems that Camelback have to offer. Uh, before you actually go out and buy any Camelback products, you should first consider what you're actually gonna be carrying while out on your runs. So yeah, before I would, I would look at anything, I would try to get all my gear together and try to understand I'm, like, what I'm bringing. If I'm doing a race, I need to, for instance, bring, say, uh, an extra layer, I maybe need to bring a first aid kit, and then I'll try to pick my, my product based on what I'm bringing and not the other way around. So before you do anything, understand what you need to bring and understand your needs, and then give this video a look. So we're gonna start at the, uh, at the end of the line here with the very smallest uh, product. This is the Ultra Belt. The Ultra Belt is quite unique in that it, it's the only belt in this lineup, essentially. Um, it has a 500 milliliter quick stow bottle. These are absolutely great for, for staying hydrated because they fold up and curl up. Um, and they hold actually a fair amount of water for, for their size, so they're quite, they're quite handy. The belt has five pockets. Um, it has two in each side, two little stretch pockets. Then it has two bigger stretch pockets, front and back, and then a zip pocket for, say, your phone or your keys or something. This product, or this Camelback product, is pretty ideal for when you're out on your shorter runs, when you just need to bring, say, a bit of water and, and some snacks. I would usually bring this on, on one of my, like, longer runs in the weekend, like 12 or, or 13 kilometers, um, where I'm still pretty close to home, so I'm not super dependent on, on my nutrition or water intake. Uh, so this is definitely a deal for that. On top of that, forgot to mention, this has straps for your poles, for your trekking poles. Um, so it pairs up actually really well with some of these other products, but we'll get into more, get more into that in a second. Secondly, we have the circuit vest. Now the circuit vest is pretty unique is that in that it's the most minimalistic vest on the, on the lineup. It only has four pockets in the front and then one large one in the back for a full on, let's see if I can get this out. That would be nice so I can show you. For a full on hydration bladder. So in order to get this out, I need to unclip here. And then you can just take this through and it'll accommodate one of these, which is a Camelback hydration bladder. So this will hold about 1.5 liters of water um, at, at best. But yeah, this makes for a really, really minimalistic vest because the only thing it's really designed to do is to hold this bladder and then just your essentials. So if you're out on say hot days and you really don't need to bring much in terms of like extra clothing and your only concern is staying hydrated, then, then this is absolutely gold. Uh, or if you're getting a lot of help on the way, then this, this would also work really, really well. So this I would bring on, on longer trail runs when you're out in the middle of nowhere, like in the summer. Um, I would bring it to, to races that are, that are supported, but where water is not really all that abundant. Next up, we have the Sapphire Vest. Now the Sapphire Vest does come equipped with two of these quick stow bottles in the front. And this vest, generally, it has a lot of features. So what sets this vest apart is that it has not only, like, not only four pockets in the front, it has a large stretch pocket, a more, not exactly a stretch pocket, more firm pocket, as well as an extra one for your gels on this side. And it has sort of the same lineup on the other side. So we're having, already have six pockets on the front. On the back, it has a large compartment that is split. So you can actually run hydration bladder in this one as well, in the, uh, in the pocket that is facing towards uh, your back. And then in the other one, you can carry some extra gear. So this backpack would be ideal for, say, a longer, like a longer run, like an ultra marathon um, for race day, because some races do require certain amount, like certain amounts of gear, say uh, extra rain jacket, uh, thermal blankets, first aid kits, and so on. 
Um, and this has space enough for all that. So this backpack, I would definitely recommend for someone who's, who's really, you know, trying to experiment with distance and, and need that flexibility of having, of having something, you know, something a little bit bigger than, than the next one we're getting. Next up, we have the Ultra Pro Vest. Now this vest is, I was kind of excited about because Camelback wrote that it was their most feature rich vest to date. And it definitely shows. On the front, you have like six pockets essentially in either side, like the, uh, like the Sapphire vest. Um, excuse me, you have two on this side and three on this side. But very, very close to the Sapphire vest. Um, on top of that, you have this fabric that closes up the space between the straps on the front and the back portion of it. So essentially on this, there's pockets wherever you reach. You grab somewhere on the vest and you're gonna find a pocket. So yeah, this is a stretch pocket, actually has a double compartment. So you can store two layers of snacks if you're feeling peckish. Um, as well as on the back, you have this whole split compartment where you can actually store something like a jacket, easy to reach jacket on this side. And then if you want to, you can actually store a hydration bladder, a hydration bladder on the inside as well. So this vest is ideal for, for those who are doing, um, who want a little bit of a lighter vest, who don't need the, quite the same pack size as the, as the Sapphire vest, but who really want that, that you know, flexibility of being able to carry more gear and, and having something that, that doesn't necessarily you know, bulge out from the back, something you want to fit really, really snug. The straps on these are quite clever as well because you can adjust the height. You can set them at the very bottom or you can adjust them up while with these little straps right here. It's kind of hard to see, but let's give it a try. Um, so you can adjust it up and down based on where you want it to sort of feel snug. So it's very, very modular and quite a nice, uh, quite a nice fit. Like this was even a large, but once I had a, a jacket in here, I was completely just, it was sitting really, really snug. The last one on the list is the Octane 18. Now this is the vest, ironically enough, the vest that I've gotten the most use out of while testing. This is designed for ultra runners, for like, you know that one friend you have that runs uh, 100, 150 kilometer, no support ultras in their weekends. This is a vest for them, but this is also a vest for the commuter. It has a ton of pockets and just enough space for you to carry, say, clothes and a towel or, or anything along the lines of that. So I've used this, uh, I've gotten off a few stops before at my bus and tried to get an extra training session in before work while carrying all my spare clothes so I can shower and then show up fresh for work. Um, so this is ideal, say, if you're doing your ultras, you have the straps for, for your poles, um, you have enough for, for a lot of solid foods, not just snacks. So you have two liters of hydration space, you have 16 extra liters of backpack space. So if you're doing really demanding ultras in very, very challenging environments, then this is definitely the pack for you. The fit is nice and snug, and despite it being packed to the brim, it was still following my back, and I honestly had no trouble running my, my, my nine kilometers with it. So. If you're a commuter, definitely give this a look. If you're an ultra marathoner, I would give this a look as well. So you have a lot of space. You don't get the quick stow bottles with it, but there is space for them. And I've gotten a ton of use out of this backpack. So definitely, uh, definitely a worthy contender if, if you're really challenging and really pushing the distances, or if you want to get that extra training session in during your commute hours.